So here are three things you need to know about Satan's lies and the power they have over you and I. So first is that Satan is a liar. He has been, always will be, and currently is a liar. But you need to watch till the end because there's some keys to take away. So while we're warned just a few times throughout the Bible to be aware, to protect ourselves from the schemes of the, the devil, the enemy, we're never told to live in fear of him. We're not to live paralyzed. So often I find people who are scared to step into God's promise because of fear of upsetting the devil. But while we need to be aware of his schemes, that, that paralyzation, that, that unwillingness to step forward just isn't what we're supposed to do. So second is that when we become aware of these schemes, it may seem like they're happening more often. And that's simply not true. That's a lie. It's simply that you're now recognizing them for what they are instead of giving credit to bad luck or karma. So a buddy of mine always says, luck and coincidence have been trying to steal God's thunder since the beginning of time. And I couldn't agree more. But you could also say the same thing for bad luck or karma. They've been trying to cover the enemy's schemes since the beginning of time. But this last part is the most important. When we're aware of these schemes, we no longer have to fight with blinders on. We no longer have to fight with our hands tied behind our back. When we, when we see them coming, and we, we know where they come from. The fight has just become fair. And I like to say, when it's a fair fight, the fight is no longer fair for the one who's coming against us. Yeshua is Messiah. He has already won. He has all power, all strength. So what power do the lies of the enemy have over us? Only what we allow. Subscribe and comment, no way Satan, if you believe in the ultimate power of God.